yo yo what's up today we're gonna look at how to set the best settings for exporting a project on a LMMS and yeah remember to subscribe if you haven't done it already so yeah the first thing you want to do is press on file then export or control plus e and you'll get this kind of thing and exporting is something you do after you made your track after you mixed and mastered and stuff like that when you're this is the last thing you want to do and this is the most important part of your project because if you are pressing the wrong buttons and exporting it you might see that your track suddenly sounds shit so we're gonna so i'm gonna show you the settings that gives you the best quality sound and the sound that is similar to the one that you are actually making on lms even after you have exported it when it's come to file format <coughs> we have these three the wa file is the best quality because it's got bigger rates bigger big rates and stuff like that while these two is limited the, the people who only use this are those who uh, are giving out cds you know like let's say they make an album with 12 tracks then they gotta have 12 mp3 files because they are smaller in size they are not able to have 12 wav files because they are bigger in in size so unless you're giving out a CD, then keep it on WA file. When it comes to sample raid, I I think it's best to just keep it here. I read a little bit and it says that if you're making like video recording and stuff, then you should go with 48K. But if not, then keep it here. And when it comes to the depth, the 16-bit integer is just for the cds and stuff you know just for the file size to get lower but if the file size is getting lower the quality is also getting lower so then we have 24 and 32 <coughs> i've done my research and it seems like people are using most people are using 32 but there are some people who also use 32 i mean most people use 24 sorry but some use 32 and the reason why many people use 24 is because people are not able to hear those little sounds that you get with 32-bit floats it's like out of our air control when it comes to frequency so you should just keep it a 24-bit integer and I remember before I was actually exporting all my files in this bit 32 and what happened was that my 808 was getting faded away the piano was suddenly getting louder and my snares and hi-hat and clap were suddenly fading away it seemed like even through I mixed my song really perfect I felt like when I exported it and listened to it I felt like it, it, it didn't seem like it was a mixed track or a good track at all because that's what this does this kind of this makes certain instruments louder and other instruments fade a little bit away so yeah just keep it a 24-bit integer then you'll not have that issue when it comes to interpolation you can choose between sync medium or sync best it doesn't matter over sampling just leave it at, leave it like that and don't press on anything on this too and one thing that is important to say is that even after you export your file and you open it up with your music app on your computer it might sound different than what it sounds like on lms and the reason for that is i really don't know but if you upload your tracks to for example soundcloud and listen to it it will sound totally different on soundcloud than what it does on your computer for me it sounds really better on soundcloud than what it does in my computer so yeah so all these different apps like soundcloud youtube spotify and your music program they are having different like depth and sample rates limitations so when you're uploading your file your file is actually being converted to their settings and therefore your file is also a little bit different just so you know that so yeah remember to subscribe thanks guys let's see we'll see i'll see you later man
Yeah.